Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I'll be sharing some of my beauty favorites from the year 2022. So let's get into it. Let me first address that this is not my typical favorites video. I usually put way more time on these, but however, I've been horribly sick throughout the latter part of December. I still have a very congested voice. I'm not sure if it translates through the camera, but I did want to do some sort of annual wrap up. So I have some amazing products that I currently had in my vanity. Maybe in next month I can delve into this a little bit better if I recover. But right now this is all I can do, but I yet wanted to share some of them with you. I would call 2022 the year of the perfume for me. And let me start with the, I have two perfumes here that I absolutely adore. Both of them are the same type of a slightly spicy family. First one I have from Pacifica. This is their Dream Moon Perfume. And I believe I mentioned in one of my videos that I'm probably going to purchase the full size of this after having the mini roll-on version. And I did. I absolutely love it. This has patchouli, sandalwood, and pink rose. And it just absolutely has this most beautiful scent to it it's not the most overpowering one it's not your typical floral either which i don't like it is just the right amount of scent it stays on fairly well on my skin and i've been so impressed by it my other favorite is from philosophy and i believe i also mentioned this one in my favorites this is their fresh cream warm cashmere this is the coziest spicy scent that I have ever owned. I absolutely love it. It just smells so good on me and also lasts a fair amount of time without being overpowering. I am sensitive to scents, but I also prefer my scents to last. I don't want something like a body spray. So this is definitely a step up from that and just smells so good. I did try a ton of awesome skincare in the year 2022. If I'm able to, I'll maybe create another video later, but I wanted to mention this one. This is from Clarence and this is their a double serum and with hydric and lipidic system my dry winter skin loves this this is just so comfortable to use i love adding it it has this lovely hydrating consistency that doesn't look oily or heavy on my skin but yet i know i added something super hydrating on it i absolutely love it the only thing i don't like about it is the price but if you can find this on sale i think it's totally worth it another skincare type of product that i absolutely love is from paula's choice and this is their youth extending daily hydrating fluid broad spectrum spf 50. this is an spf that will work for any skin type it says normal oily combination i have drier combination skin and my skin loves this this is so lightweight yet it protects your skin you can use it under makeup i have no trouble pilling with this one and that's typically a problem I have. I have been so impressed and once I run out of this tiny sample I'll be sure to purchase the full size. As for my makeup favorites I did try a lot of beautiful products. I just quickly grabbed a couple of them from my vanity. I'll start with the MAC Blush Please Glow Play Blush. It is simply a beautiful creamy blush that looks so stunning on my drier skin. It just applies so prettily. It looks so natural and I love this formula. At some point I might get another shade of this. This blush please is just really natural and stunning. They're giving you these rosy cheeks that I personally prefer. The next makeup product I have is from LYS and this is their No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Light. This is just a beautiful even bronzer. It applies so well. It doesn't look patchy. It is an amazing bronzer for 
any skin type i think it stays on well i love the packaging there's a nice mirror here and a magnetic closure all in all one of the best bronzers i've ever tried as for the eyeshadows this year i got into glam light shadows i just took one here this is the dirty martini palette but really any eyeshadow palette that i tried from glam light could have been in this video this quality is just so good those shimmer shades are shimmery enough they're beautiful matte shades blend so well yet deposit a nice amount of pigment i have been so impressed and will definitely purchase more from glam light one of my most used products is from natasha denona and this is their mini gold palette i'm not sure if they're discontinuing this i know it was on sale for a while but what an absolutely beautiful palette. I used this on Christmas. I've been using it basically every week ever since I got it. The mattes are so buttery smooth. You apply them so nicely. That middle gold shade has such a beautiful sparkle. I use this shimmer shade in the outer corner. It performs well there as well. And then if you want to do a halo eye, you could use this shade on the lid and then add this as your center shade. This little palette is simply amazing. Great Natasha Denona quality. It might just be my favorite purchase of 2020. So these were some of my beauty favorites for the year 2022. Hopefully I'll get to feeling better and can film some more content, but I did want to share some of my favorite products. What are your favorites for 2022? Let me know in the comments section. I'd be curious to hear your makeup favorites, your beauty favorites. If you have some scents that you think I would like, I would love to hear those as well. I got for Christmas the Ariana Grand cloud scent and I tested it real quick and I absolutely love that, that one as well but if there are any other scents that you like let me know I'd be curious to hear your thoughts but these were some of my 2022 favorites thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed to my channel yet I hope you subscribe and if you like these kind of favorites videos please consider giving this one a thumbs up I'd so appreciate it but thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.